So I'm going to show you how we can use trigonometry to work out different sides of a right angle triangle. These are the different rules for trigonometry. This is the sine rule, this is the cosine rule, and as you can see here, this is the tan rule or the tangent rule. Let's have a look at the three six steps. So these are the six conditions that must be met. First of all, the triangles that we will be discussing are right angle triangles. Now, if the triangle is not a right angle triangle, then these formulas here will not work. So keep that in mind. Second, the angle must be in degrees completely. So be careful. Uh, if you see angles which are like this, uh, 30 uh, degrees and 14 minutes. If you see angles like that, then we'll have to convert them to degrees completely. Now, for most of the examples we're going to be using, we will be only concentrating with degrees at the moment. Also make sure that you label the triangle correctly. You have to find the hypotenuse first, then the side opposite the angle. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode, otherwise your answers will be wrong. And of course make sure that all the sides are in the same units. So let's have a look now at uh, one particular question. We're going to look at this question that we did in class. Uh, we're just going to make sure that's a right angle triangle. There it is. So how do we go through the steps? Let's follow along. The first thing we do is the side opposite the right angle side. That's that side there. There you go. We call this side BH. It really stands for hypotenuse. The next step, you have to find the side opposite the angle. You can see there's the angle. This side is always called O. And that stands for the opposite. And then the side that's left over, in this case, it's the adjacent. So, now that we've labeled the triangle correctly, what do we do now? Well, let's have a look what we've got. We, we've been given H, and we have to find O. So we look up the formulas here, and which formula has an O and a H in it? Well, the one that has it is this one here. So, there's the first step. You write it down, find formula. Now comes putting the numbers in. So the angle, 63, so you put sine 63 is equal to O, stands for X, and H, 23.4. 23.4. Now a little trick. If you see the X on top, then all you need to do is take this number and multiply it by that. And that's what we've done here. 23.4 times 60 sine 63 degrees and there's your answer now what's that mind you it's 20.85 these were in centimeters so that has to be centimeters itself also now you see that little thing coming up oscar i've named the computer oscar so don't worry about it so let's go through it again this time a little different question so once again we forgot to put a little right angle triangle so what do we do? We first find H, and that's how we find H. So we label that H, then the side opposite the angle, it's always called O, and the last side there is H, A, sorry. All right, we have to find H, we've been given O, which one is it? Well, it's only the sine, and we put it in. Sine 30 is equal to over H. Put in the angle, sine 63 is equal to 12 over. O is 12. H is X. Now, notice this time the X is on the bottom. Remember the X on top? This time it's on the bottom. So here's a little trick. We swap this. So we swap that with that and we get x equals 12 over sine 63 so what were the units well we didn't have units here but let's assume that was uh, meters so these units will be meters so that's how we use the formulas 
That's how we work out which, uh, which formula to use and we need to follow those examples. So I hope you understood that carefully.